Rolling, speeding, lighting. Hey. Welcome back to a Schooner and Hop beer review. We're sitting here today with a Single Fin. It's yeah. a Gage Rhodes beer. Another one by them. We really, well, I really enjoyed Corey the really pale enjoyed ale. The I didn't think much of it, so. so let's see what's going to happen with this one. Yeah, I felt kind of bad. I wanted to try another one, even though we've. Kind of already tried this outside of here. Sure is fruity. Look, there's not a hell of a lot going on as far as uh, different flavors kind of coming at you. It's really, as it suggests, it's a summer ale. Yeah, it, it's it's above being a lager because there's definitely a hop. Well, flavor you, you get there. your hops and your fruits. Now, we we I think we even mentioned this in the um in the atomic ale where we said that they had another beer. That was like, that we didn't think much of. That was more of a stepping stone into craft beers. Yeah. And upon revisiting this, I've only tried it once. Upon revisiting it, I think I'm more into it now than when the first, than the first time I tried it. I think so too, but more because I know what it, I knew what I was, like what I was going to have. Okay. Whereas before, because it's on the rotational t- tap. At Porter's, which is where we got this from again, from the Flaming yeah. Bottle Mart. Woo! Nearly forgot that one. <laughs> ah, always the plug. Yep. Um, so, yeah, we had it on tap there at our local pub. And that's normally quite a... Uh, it, well, it's a craft beer rotational tap, generally. Yeah. And a lot of the stuff we had previously was a lot stronger as far as a uh, fruit flavour or a hop flavour was concerned. So, when I had that, when I had this... It didn't do anything for me because I was expecting something completely different. Yeah. It's definitely... It's an easy drink. I could imagine sessioning on this in the summer. If I felt like a craft and it was hot, I felt like a few, I'd probably actually go for this. It'd definitely be high in the considerations of beer I'd go for. Yeah, look, I actually really... I I do really like it. There's not really much we can say about it because there's not a lot happening. It's Um, it's clean. It's light. hmm. You met with this... A mangoey, juicy flavor, a little bit of hop, but it just there's no lingering bitterness. It's which uh, which it's, is why it's similar, so similar to a lager because it just doesn't linger. There's nothing that sticks no. around. It's good. It's definitely good. It's good. I like it more than the atomic ale. Yeah, I'm probably gonna take an atomic ale over this. So Furfy still rings true for you. Yeah. Is that purely just because? I don't like it, so every time you get to drink it, you're just like, ha! Huh. It's like, ha! Huh. Hop doesn't like this. Suck it. This is my beer. Yeah, look, I got that whole six back to myself. That was nice. Yeah, the Furfy's above it because I was saying I was saying before with my back turn to the camera and to the microphone that I've gone back to the Furfy quite a bit, and it's the only beer I've gone back to, but I think that's solely because it was on tap, you know. Convenient. Yeah, like. it was there. If we were to have this while it was on tap at our local... Then I'd be going and having this a lot more. The Atomic Ale, didn't enjoy. Bees knees, nothing to it. Four Pines is a stout, didn't like stouts. So that's my reasoning to put this above them. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess my justification for it being ranked so low is just because it doesn't give me that long, bitter flavour that I so thoroughly enjoy. Mm, hops. Yeah. That's, that's what you're about. Even more, like having started this, I'm even more about them. Yeah, look, I've I've definitely gotten a lot more into into this kind of thing after doing this, and just uh, now actually know a little bit about beer. Yeah. I can really enjoy what they're doing in there. So something that makes me feel a little bit bad about the two gauge roads, at least for me, being so low, is that I actually really like this brewery. the the uh, The team seems really cool. I'm always yeah. keen to go back and try more of their beers. Look, I uh, think they, like they've got that uh, double IPA. Hopefully we can get our hands on some. That's but it's fairly limited. It's as far only as they've in, said only in kegs at the moment. But they did say July. Little segue. We'll try their double IPA eventually. We'll we'll get there. Not yeah. really much else to say about this. No, it's it's gonna good. Be, I think it's going to be a pretty short episode. A, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a short episode. <laughs> Sorry, single fan. I think they know well, that though. I think it's yeah. It's for for fans of lager. That want to try something yep. different. Something different. Yep. And if you're you're thinking of trying out a craft beer, this is probably a good place to I start. I think it's a really good stepping stone. Because yeah. if you go from uh, Great picking Northern the wrong, to a, yeah, picking the wrong pale ale after mm-hmm. having only you know your clear crisp lagers, yep, 
you're probably not going to enjoy it. No. Unless you manage to pick a really good one that's put, just seems to be perfectly aligned to your how you want it to taste. Yeah. Otherwise... Where could you go with your words? Ah. Uh, He's so impressive these days. He hasn't tripped over his words in like the last five episodes. And there's me here going... <laughs> every other time. I haven't tripped over my words as far as you can tell. I'm covering it while you're, tri- can, you're tripping in your head. I can creatively <laughs> edit myself quite well now. <laughs> I just, I know exactly where to cut in my little, like, pauses, but... Look at us improve. Anyway, uh, thanks again to the Plainland Bottom Up for hooking us up with these. I really appreciate that. If you, uh, like we were saying, if you're wanting to try something a bit fruitier than you normally normally do, go out and grab these. You can pick that up at their place, and I'm sure other places, but definitely their place. Any good bottle shops, really. All right, well, we've been uh, Schooner and Hop. See you next week. Cheers. Cheers.